The Gambia, a small West African country, is located on the banks of the Gambia River. With a population of just over 2 million people, it is one of the smallest countries on the African continent. Even with its small size, the Gambia has a rich history that dates back to the 14th century, when it was inhabited by the Mandinka people. Over the centuries, the Gambia has been shaped by various cultural, political, and economic forces, and it has developed into a unique and diverse nation with its own identity. Understanding why the Gambia exists is crucial in order to appreciate its cultural heritage and rich history. By exploring the various factors that have shaped the Gambia over the centuries, it is possible to gain a deeper understanding of the country and its people. In this video, we will examine the historical context of the Gambia's formation, the political and economic factors that have contributed to its existence, and the cultural factors that have shaped its identity. But to ensure that you don't miss out on more great content like this, please take a moment to like and subscribe to Africa Info Hub. Also, click on the notification bell. Without much delay, let's dive into the video. The formation of the Gambia is heavily intertwined with the legacy of European colonialism in West Africa. In the late 19th century, the Gambia was designated as a British colony and protectorate, and it remained under British control until its independence in 1965. During this period, the Gambia was shaped by the policies and interests of the British colonial government, which aimed to exploit its resources and maintain political control over the region. The slave trade also played a significant role in the formation of the Gambia. For centuries, the Gambia River was a major thoroughfare for the transport of slaves from the interior of West Africa to the coast, where they were sold to European slave traders. This brutal trade had a profound impact on the region and its people, and it has left a lasting legacy in the form of cultural, economic, and social inequalities. Despite the negative consequences of colonialism and the slave trade, the Gambia has a rich cultural heritage that has been shaped by the diverse ethnic groups that have lived in the region for centuries. The Mandinka people, who have inhabited the Gambia for over a thousand years, have a rich cultural and spiritual tradition that is still practiced today. Other ethnic groups, such as the Wolof, Fula, and Jola, have also contributed to the formation of the Gambia, and they have helped to create a diverse and vibrant cultural landscape. The political and economic factors that have contributed to the Gambia's existence are closely tied to the legacy of colonialism, and the efforts of the Gambian people to establish a stable and thriving nation. After gaining independence from Britain in 1965, the Gambia was faced with the challenge of building a strong and centralized political system that could provide stability and security for its citizens. Over the years, the Gambian government has worked to establish a stable democratic system, although it has faced challenges from military coups and political unrest. The economy of the Gambia has also been shaped by a range of factors, including the legacy of colonialism, the development of cash crops, and the efforts of the government to attract foreign investment and support economic growth. In the colonial era, the Gambian economy was based on the production of cash crops, such as peanuts and palm kernels, which were sold to European markets. After independence, the Gambian government made efforts to diversify the economy, and today the country has a more varied economic base that includes agriculture, tourism, and services. In addition to the efforts of the government, the Gambian people have also played a key role in the development of the country's political and economic systems. Despite the challenges they have faced, they have shown remarkable resilience and determination to build a better future for themselves and their children. Through their hard work, entrepreneurship, and community spirit, the Gambian people have helped to create a dynamic and vibrant nation that is well positioned for a bright future. The cultural factors that have shaped the Gambia's identity are diverse and rich, reflecting the country's unique history and the contributions of its many ethnic groups. The Mandinka people, who have lived in the Gambia for over a thousand years, have a rich cultural and spiritual tradition that is still practiced today. Their beliefs and practices are deeply intertwined with the natural world, and they view the Gambia River as a sacred and spiritual entity that is central to their cultural identity. The influence of Islam is also a significant cultural factor in the Gambia. The religion was introduced to the region in the 11th century and has since become an important part of Gambian life, shaping the country's social, political, and economic systems. Islamic festivals and traditions are widely celebrated, and they play a key role in reinforcing Gambian cultural identity and community spirit. The arts and crafts of the Gambia are also an important part of its cultural heritage. 
From the intricate weaving of kuba cloth to the vibrant paintings and sculptures of local artists, the Gambian art scene is a rich and vibrant reflection of the country's diverse cultural heritage. Music and dance are also central to Gambian culture, and they play a key role in expressing cultural identity and fostering community spirit. Whether through traditional drumming and singing or the more modern genres of hip-hop and reggae, music and dance are an integral part of Gambian life. Reflecting on the importance of understanding the history and cultural heritage of the Gambia highlights the value of preserving and honoring one's cultural roots. By understanding the unique history and traditions of the Gambian people, we gain a deeper appreciation for the country's cultural richness and diversity, and the challenges and triumphs of its people. Furthermore, understanding the history and cultural heritage of a place can also help to foster greater cultural understanding and respect between different communities, promoting peace and unity. The Gambia is a unique and fascinating country with a rich history and cultural heritage that is well worth exploring. To deepen your understanding of the Gambia and its people, we recommend further reading on the history of colonialism in West Africa, the slave trade, and the cultural traditions of the various ethnic groups in the region. Whether through books, documentaries, or personal visits, there are many ways to engage with the fascinating and rich history of the Gambia, and to gain a deeper appreciation for this remarkable country and its people. What do you think of our video? Let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video, tell your friends about it and hit the like button. Also, share with friends on Facebook, WhatsApp, and Twitter.